Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today it's another Wednesday, so it's another episode of Obi-Wan Kenobi. Uh, we are up to episode 5, so after this there's only one left. And of course, as I said in the last video, there's been a lot of rumors of season 2. So I'm curious how this season is going to end. Uh, but for this week's episode, I do think that we're going to get a nice big battle um, at the Rebel base. I don't know if we're going to get anything between Vader and Obi-Wan specifically. Maybe a small, like I'm thinking we might get a small battle between them. But I do think he's going to get a fight with an Inquisitor. So I think that's going to be really cool. I'm really excited. I hope we do see that. Um, but I think it's going to be a lot of action in this episode. A lot of development in the story. And then my predictions for how it'll carry over is I think the final episode is going to be like, I think like half of it might be this big, long battle, kind of how like in Revenge of the Sith, they have this big, long battle uh, between Obi-Wan and Anakin. I think we're going to see something similar to that. So I'm very excited. We're going to jump right into this episode. And then as soon as I'm done, I'll let you know what I think. All right. So I just finished episode five. Now I do have a lot of thoughts. Um, some of what I thought would happen did. Some things didn't. I definitely thought we were going to get another lightsaber battle with Obi-Wan. Now, we did see him deflecting a lot of bullets uh, from stormtroopers and even, um, you know, just, you know, killing some stormtroopers with the lightsaber. Uh, we didn't get any, like, big battle. Reva did finally have that, you know, turnaround story arc that I did predict would happen, that she would be good. Um, she was one of those younglings we saw in the first episode, um, you know, she got stabbed with by Anakin or Darth Vader by that time, and she just pretended to be dead, and she's just been biding her time, waiting to strike him down. Um, we'll talk a little bit more about that later, though. Uh, but <clears throat> I definitely thought this episode was really good. I know that, like, this show is getting a lot of mixed reviews, um, from people. Most of what I see and hear on it is really good. I know a couple of the review sites have been like with like review bombed so you can't really trust like Rotten Tomatoes reviews and stuff like that as much anymore but most of what I hear is really positive. I think this is an episode that'll turn a lot of people around that weren't too big on the show because you get a lot of really good scenes and uh, we're going to get into a few of those right now. In this first scene I'm going to show you, Obi-Wan is looking at this cave wall and it just has a bunch of inspiration for the rebellion and I think he kind of realizes that, you know, there's been this fight going on that he's been missing and he sees all these Jedi lightsabers of all fallen Jedi as well as some Jedi robes. And I think this whole scene just really like shows him that there's been this fight that he really needs to join in on now. We also get a long-awaited uh, at least for me, a uh, flashback scene of Anakin. We got like a two second one early on in the series, but we get throughout the whole episode, multiple flashback scenes of the two fighting. Looks like it was around episode two. And what's interesting is this is all taking place in Darth Vader's mind as we see in the episode. So I think that is a really important part of the episode too. And then we get another scene here of Obi-Wan and Reva communicating. And this is that scene where we finally learn that Reva was one of the Padawans who escaped Order 66 by pretending to be dead, and that she's not actually evil, but she's pretending to be so that she can be the one to kill Vader. And if you've seen any of my other reviews, you know I love my Vader power scenes, and when he threw this ship to the ground and tore it apart, I think that just demonstrated the, the immense power that he really possesses. And of course, we get what I predicted early on, the return of the Grand Inquisitor, the true Grand Inquisitor. I knew because he was in Rebels, he couldn't be dead, and we finally got him back here, so I was super excited. All right, so those were just some of the many scenes that I think were really good in this episode. Um, so I just want to kind of really quick go through what I thought were some really important scenes. I might talk about some you just watched, but um, just briefly. So all the flashback scenes, really, really good. And you see as the episode's going on, these are all in Darth Vader's mind. And as you're going through, like, at least I was thinking like, oh, maybe this is like showing how early on in his early Vader days, he still had a little bit of like pull towards the Jedi. But then I think toward the end of the episode, you realize that it was actually just him learning a lesson. Like it's, 
The whole point of the flashbacks is showing that Anakin uses aggression and anger to try and win fights, and all he cares about is winning. But Obi-Wan teaches him that there's a bigger lesson to be learned, and that it's not all about just winning, and that you don't need weapons to win. And then that's when, you know, back to the present time of the series, that's when he reveals that he knew the whole time that Reva was a youngling, and that he was stringing her along to get what he wanted, which was Obi-Wan. And that's when the Grand Inquisitor walks out, and we see he's still alive. Um, I knew the whole time that he was going to be alive and that Reva would be good. Um, I just, I like, I feel like they, not that it was, like, super obvious, but the Grand Inquisitor is in Rebels, and it's the same exact guy, so it had he had to be alive, or they'd be saying Rebels isn't canon, which they've already said it is. And then I knew that Reva would be um, good because... It just seemed like she had that story arc. She, you know, she was a youngling, which they didn't confirm, but they made it seem pretty obvious. She was a youngling turned inquisitor who, you know, had this such obsession. And I just had a feeling her obsession was trying to get to back to the Jedi. I thought she would join Obi-Wan. Um, in this episode, he offers like, let's work together. And she says, no, I did think that was a little surprising um we do see um you know a little more leia scenes this episode didn't have as much leia um but she of course figures out lola has a little like chip on her and fixes her and just two other scenes that i also wanted to just talk about a little bit before wrapping this up the box of lightsabers i know there's no way that they would ever just put a random box of lightsabers i'm sure there's a lot of easter eggs um i tried to do a little bit of digging i wasn't able to find anything myself if you saw a lightsaber that you either know for a fact or you think looks like one from either the original trilogy, the prequels, the sequels, any of the animated shows, anything that you look at and you're like, oh, I think that's so-and-so's lightsaber, leave a comment below so that way, um, you know, we just know and anyone who watches it can see that and um, I can also mention about it in the next video. It kind of could give us a little bit of a hint of maybe who did and did not survive Order 66 or was captured after. Um, also there were like rumors of like Mace Windu appearing in the last episode. Um, I definitely don't think that's Mace Windu. I, I know it like slightly resembles him. Um, he also like has his arm there and I know people are saying, well, he could just get one like Luke did. Yes, that's all possible. I just, I don't think that looked enough like Mace Windu. I don't think that was Mace Windu. So I don't think that was him. Um, but then the final scene I wanted to talk about in this that I didn't show you, I showed you like the aftermath of Reva versus Vader. But I think the scene is so important to show how feared and how just powerful Vader is because the whole time he's fighting her, he doesn't use his own lightsaber once. He's using the force and just dodging all of her attacks with her double-sided lightsaber. And then he takes it from her, breaks it in half, and then gives her half of it so that they can fight a little bit. And then he, he's just toying with her the whole time. So... I think this episode was really crucial because I know there's been some mixed feedback on the show. Everything I'm seeing from most people is very positive. It's gotten like review bombed a couple times. Um, that's why it's hard to trust those like Rotten Tomatoes and things like that just because you can set up like a, almost like an auto dialer of reviews and you know people who like there's been a lot of hate toward Moses Ingram, which I think makes no sense because I think she's doing a really great job as Reva. So I, I really think that that's just kind of absurd. Um, so I think that's where all the review bombings coming from. I think the show's been really good, but if you haven't liked it, I think this episode should have done a lot to turn that around. It had everything and it's setting up the finale to be great. It ends with Reva finding out that there's a boy being protected by Owen and that there's these children that are important to Obi-Wan and it ends with us seeing a shot of Luke sleeping over top so I don't understand how you couldn't be excited for this finale to be honest even if you haven't liked the show up to now this episode was great and it's setting up the finale to be a huge really awesome episode so I'm looking forward to that uh, my final predictions are Obi-Wan and Vader will definitely have some sort of rematch and I think it's going to be an extended one at least like 10-15 minutes long maybe even longer i think it could be like half the episode um i think we're definitely going to get some more flashbacks i think we're actually going to get flashbacks to him in his episode three times so we got like the braid from episode two i think we're going to get the long-haired you know anakin and uh 
I think we're going to get some Episode 3 era flashbacks. So I am excited for that as well, uh, if it happens. And then I definitely think we're also going to get a fight between Obi-Wan and the Grand Inquisitor. So I think we're going to see him fight the Grand Inquisitor and then Darth Vader. Um, maybe, maybe we won't. But I definitely think we will get something along those lines. So I'm very excited. If you enjoyed this review and the episode, please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Um, next Wednesday, there will be, you know, the finale review. And then when Mandalorian Season 3 comes out early next year, I'll be reviewing that. And any other shows or movies that, you know, are very popular or very anticipated, I'll do reviews on. I do go to uh, Star Wars Galaxy's Edge, the Star Wars land in Disney a lot. And just Disney and other theme parks. And I do a bunch of fun stuff. So if you see anything you like, please subscribe. I would really appreciate it. And uh, just stick around for next week's finale review. And I will see you there.